Hey now, Halloweenies, it's Black Metal Werewolf making a brand new video for you today. And today, being my final Halloween video for the year, we will be carving another pumpkin. Pumpkin carving is probably my favorite thing to do during the Halloween season. It's uh, easy, it's innocent, it reminds me of my childhood, and not to mention, it's a relatively cheap thing to do during this time of the year. A pumpkin really doesn't cost that much, and neither do the tools you need to actually carve it. You can either just use a knife in your kitchen drawer, or you can just go to Walmart and get these relatively simple pumpkin carving tools, which I believe cost me less than $10. These are the same ones I used last year, so it was just a one-time expense I had to spend, and I probably won't have to replace them for quite some time as long as you take relatively good care of them. So I like it, it's cheap, it's easy, you can uh, do it while a movie or Halloween special's playing in the background, you can even throw on some music, why the hell not? And it's just a good fun time. So there's one thing this year that has actually made pumpkin carving a lot more uh, enjoyable for me is that I am no longer allergic to the pumpkin guts. Uh, some of you may remember last year that when I was doing a pumpkin I uh, mentioned that I was allergic to pumpkin guts. So essentially um, when I moved into my apartment about five or six years ago with my now ex-girlfriend we decided to carve a pumpkin and when I was cleaning it out my hands started breaking out in hives and stuff and getting really itchy. Um, nothing that a simple hand washing couldn't fix but I realized at that time that I'd, I'd actually developed an allergy towards pumpkin guts and that was something I never knew before mostly because it's been so long since I'd carved a pumpkin before that. So every year past that, I'd been very careful and having to wear gloves and stuff like that. And last year when I did my pumpkin carving video, I forgot gloves like a dumbass and I carved a pumpkin and I didn't really notice much hives or itching, but I was also also washing my hands quite vigorously between every take here. But this year, I actually, this is actually the sixth pumpkin I've carved during the Halloween season. And now I'm finally able to smush my hands in the pumpkin guts without breaking out into hives or itching. So it's one thing I can finally enjoy about the Halloween season is really getting into the guts and the gore of the pumpkin. There's also a funny story I wanted to tell you guys last year during my pumpkin carving video, but I completely forgot about it, but I'll, I'll mention it now. So like I was saying, uh, that time when I was with my ex-girlfriend and we had uh, got our first pumpkins to carve, I'm not, as you can see in this video, I'm not much of an artist. Uh, I, I can barely fucking draw here, but uh, I decided to go a bit more ambitious and do like a vampire face on my pumpkin, and she did a cat face. And to my surprise, uh, the vampire face of mine turned out quite well, and also considering I was probably the first pumpkin I had done in a very, very long time. Uh, so anyway, we did our pumpkin carving, had a great time, and uh, at the time we had a ground floor apartment, so we were able to put our pumpkins out on display outside of our little porch area for all the little kids to see. And at the time, I wasn't able to get any time off work to enjoy the Halloween season. So we did our pumpkin carvings one night, and the next morning, I was off to work. And I went out uh, my apartment through our little porch there, and lo and behold, my fucking pumpkin was gone. The first pumpkin I had done in at least 10 years, and the, out for the first night, and someone stole my pumpkin, which really pissed me off because my ex-girlfriend's pumpkin was still there, and hers looked better than mine. She did this really great cat face on it. And they fucking stole mine. And uh, before I went to work, I actually looked around the apartment building to see if maybe some, like, kids just went and, like, stole my pumpkin and fucking smashed it. But no, someone took it and, like, left with it. I don't know what they did with it. And uh, after I was finished work that night, I actually went around all the neighborhoods <laughs> looking for my pumpkin. Because I think, I thought someone had stolen it and, like, thrown it on their porch. And to this day, I still have no idea what happened to that pumpkin. But, uh, you know, it, it keeps me up at night thinking about what uh, what someone did to it. So since that one vampire face I did uh, that time, I'd actually kept my pumpkin designs relatively simple because every single time I try to do something creative, it always turns out looking like complete shit. And uh, I like having good looking pumpkins, so to me there's no point in going ambitious and having it look awful and then being super embarrassed by my pumpkin. I'd rather just keep with relatively traditional pumpkin faces with you know, uh, relatively geometric noses, eyes, and mouths just so it at least looks good. It's simple, but hey, I like the way it looks. So this pumpkin ended up accidentally looking kind of like Venom from Spider-Man, uh, in my opinion. It, was, it wasn't was intentional, but I still think it looks pretty cool, especially once it's lit up, that you guys will see in a minute there. Uh, this is actually the fifth pumpkin I've done this year for, uh, out of all my jack-o'-lanterns carved. The first one was a relatively simple one with relatively simple triangle eyes and nose and mouth. And then I tried to get more a bit more creative while keeping it relatively simple with what I like to do like a goblin face, especially with like the, the lines in the mouth that kind of separate it, which I like think is cool. I also did um, 
kind of like a skull, what I try to do with like more square teeth, which are actually quite difficult to do. And then finally, I did, uh, I wanted to go with like a Kang and Kodos thing, but it ended up kind of looking like uh, the thing with all these multiple eyes, which I thought was kind of cool. So those are my jack-o'-lanterns for the year, but I would like to know if you guys carved any pumpkins, and if you did, what designs did you put on them? Please leave me a comment below, I'd love to know what you guys have done this Halloween season. And so ends another year of my Halloween videos. Unfortunately, I didn't get to nearly as many videos as I wanted to this year, but this happens every damn year I try to do my Halloween videos. I have all these great things planned, and then life just gets in the way with work, Halloween activities, trying to get everything uh, ready for my vacation. It's a whole mess. But either way, there's always next year for me to try to catch up and to do even more Halloween videos. So hopefully I can do even more next year. But of course, I just want to give you guys a very big thank you to checking out my Halloween videos and just a very big happy Halloween to everybody watching this. I hope that everyone watching is as big a fan of Halloween as I am. It's my all-time favorite time of the year. And if you're going out tonight, whatever you're doing, I hope you have a good, safe time. If you're going to parties, trick-or-treating with your friends or your kids or whatever, or if you're just doing what I'm doing, which is going to be vegging out on the couch, watching horror movies and eating candy all night, I hope you have a good, safe time. It is the spookiest time of the year, and don't forget that everybody is entitled to one good scare.